What's going on, guys? It's Epic Killer here, and I have a pretty hilarious story. Well, it wasn't hilarious when it happened. In, in fact, it was so scary. I, when I went to bed, I, I don't know. I don't know. I probably cried. That I was. That's how scared I was. It was. It was. It was pretty freaky because it happened when I was nine years old. And I'm gonna get into the story right now. So every year I go. I forget when, but every year I go to a Spitfires game, which is hockey for you that don't know that team it's a hockey team and it's not they're not nhl but they're still awesome to watch and we had a suite and if you guys don't know what a suite looks like it's okay i'm going to describe it for you so you got a room with some benches a mini fridge uh let's say a tv and then like a mini bar but there's no like alcohol or anything well you can there's thought alcohol in the fridge but there's no alcohol. It's not a real bar. It's like a bar stool. It's like there's bar st stools and stuff like that. That's not important. But if you go outside, there's a, like two rows of chairs. And then they have a glass. And when we were heading to the Spitz game, we saw this homeless guy. And I felt kind of bad because you might be like, okay, why are you talking about a homeless guy? It's kind of important to the story. And I felt pretty bad because I just don't like seeing people on the street. It makes me really sad. And so the game starts playing, and about in the second inning, we we just hear a girl. I it's very brief to me, but I just remember someone like screaming, and I'm pretty sure it was a girl, and it was pretty hilarious because, well, it's not hilarious because I bet she got really scared because the homeless guy somehow managed to get into the Spitfire game. Okay, it was obvious. It was the same homeless guy. He somehow managed to get into the Spitfire arena, which I have no idea how he even did that. Okay, and he starts, he, he, he's like making really weird sounds, he's like, la, 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 and he's making very weird sounds. And I, I remember I, I, I was on the one of the seats, and I just hear, like, people just f-bombing him like I don't, like i'm not gonna say the word but they just started s like every just everybody saying where the mm, did you come from get the mm, out of here it was uh, it was pretty hilarious considering i was nine but i was i was like so scared i was i was like in my seat just like go away go away and I, I, it's really funny for me now back then it was pretty scary and he, he like I, I get up and i'm like go away go away in my tiny voice and i'm like go away go away and the the guy he tries to like like he tried to grab me and my brother's friends to like pull himself into the suite and he tried to take our popcorn guys okay he literally tried to put his hand into our popcorn and eat it okay he was like give me your popcorn it was so yeah, it's pretty funny for me now but he, he was get, just kept being, like, really, really weird, okay? He was, like, oh, I don't, oh, I'm, just, I'm watching the game plan. I just totally blocked that save, that goal, which facts, because, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> back to the story. He was just being really weird, and it was kind of funny for, like, my friend, my dad's, my dad's friend comes out, and he's like, get the hell away from these kids, and he started screaming at the guy, and the security came, and they take him, and to this day, I have no idea how he got in, and it was only two years ago, well, wait, yeah, two years ago, uh, I was nine, so yeah, it was two years ago, pretty funny, guys, um, that's gonna wrap up the story, oh, actually, no, never mind, because when we were leaving, we saw the homeless guy, and he had handcuffs on, police were there, and they were taking him to jail, I'd assume, for breaking into a Spitfire game, trying to grab children, shirts to pull himself onto a balcony, and trying to steal popcorn. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's pretty funny for me. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Or we are actually coming pretty close to 10 subscribers, and uh, that may not seem a lot, but I'm happy. I don't do YouTube for subscribers. I do it for fun. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.